How's it going everyone? My name is True Underdog and I'm here once again with some Mortal Kombat 11 news. And there's honestly a lot of stuff to cover today so without any further ado, let's get started. So recently, there was a leak from Warner Brothers that basically confirmed that Ash Williams is in fact a DLC character in Mortal Kombat 11. And I think by now a lot of people already knew that, but the funny thing is Bruce Campbell, the actor himself for Ash Williams, has said time and time again this character won't be in the game. However, the thing about those statements is he always said that Ash Williams will not be there from the Evil Dead series, whereas this email itself does say Ash Williams from the Army of Darkness. So in a clever way, Bruce has never actually lied to anybody when he said Ash Williams from Evil Dead will not be in Mortal Kombat 11. Because as the email itself actually states, this is Ash Williams from Army of Darkness. And I just find that very interesting because technically the actor himself never actually lied. A lot of people think he was just doing damage control, just trying to save face, but turns out, no, he was being honest. In his own very clever kind of way. And I think a lot of us did already assume that Ash Williams was going going to be in the game because at one point in time when you turned on Mortal Kombat 11, the game itself actually said Ash Williams instead of Joker. Now from what I've heard, the image itself didn't actually change so it still showed Joker in the image, but the text actually said Ash Williams instead of Joker's name. And this led a lot of people to assume that Ash was actually the original intended character for Combat Pack 1, but at some point down the line either Netherrealm or Warner Bros made the switch and put Joker there instead. And a lot of us did assume this was because the Joker movie was coming out around that time. So put simply, Ash Williams has been all but confirmed for Mortal Kombat 11. But now comes the extra juicy info, so there has been some recent data mines, as there always is for Mortal Kombat 11, and one of the character files is labeled ROB, and a lot of people have assumed this might be Robocop, which may seem like an odd choice, but keep in mind that the original Robocop film was actually very violent. In fact, the film was so violent that pretty much no studio wanted to help make it. In a funny way, the Robocop movie really was like the Mortal Kombat of its era, because once again, nobody wanted to touch it, they just thought it would be too violent of a film. So oddly enough, Robocop would be a perfect fit for Mortal Kombat 11 if the ROB file does in fact refer to him. Though some people do think it could also mean Cyrax and Sector, or some sort of Triborg. Many people have thought for a long time that these characters might become playable in Mortal Kombat 11 since you can already fight them in story mode. And then on top of that, to make things a bit more suspicious, their files have actually been removed from the game, which led some to believe their files have been renamed to ROB. Now of course this could also just be one big coincidence. But even so, the whole thing is still rather interesting. It could be Cyrax and Sector, or it could be Robocop. Now for me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Robocop, and we already have Terminator, who I think is somewhat similar. But even so, I also admit that Robocop is a very good fit for Mortal Kombat given the violent history of his films. And along with the Robocop leak, there was also mention of cinematics for Takeda and Stryker in the data mine. And this got a lot of people excited, including me, because I love Takeda, but keep in mind it only says the cinematics. There is actually no character inventory file for either of them. So before any of us get too excited, this could just be mentioning they have some sort of cinematic in the game, whether it's an intro dialogue or some tower ending, something of that nature. I think you all know by now that I love Takeda. He was my favorite new character for Mortal Kombat X. And I also do dig Striker as well. I think in MK9, they did a very good job with his character, whereas before he was kind of a joke. But even though I do like both of these characters, it doesn't seem very likely that they are playable. It seems like it's just the cinematics for now. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about the new stages. So for a long long time there have been rumors of the Deadpool and the Soul Chamber. And according to recent leaks, including the email, it does seem like Deadpool and Soul Chamber are confirmed. Which was pretty much already the case, but now we have even more info confirming it. And whenever I hear these stage names, especially Deadpool, I think about stage fatalities, which has me wondering, will these new stages have fatalities? And if so, will existing stages also get fatalities? Because that did happen for Mortal Kombat X. And if the same thing also happens for Mortal Kombat 11, that would be absolutely awesome. Stage fatalities fatalities have always been a classic part of Mortal Kombat games. And seeing as how the Deadpool is one of the most famous fatalities in the entire series aside from maybe the pit, I would be surprised if that stage didn't have a fatality built into it, and if it does get one, I think the other stages might get some too. And while it is really awesome to have both of these stages confirmed, I really also hope we get the Living Forest and the Subway stage, since we do in fact see a Subway stage in the story mode. And I'm also a huge fan of the Living Forest, I think it might be one of my favorite stages in all of Mortal Kombat. So on top of the Deadpool and Soul Chamber, I really hope we get those stages as well. But let me know in the comments which stages you want to see come back in Mortal Kombat 11. And then while you're down there, please let me know your thoughts on Robocop and Ash Williams as well. Because that's about it for the news everyone, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, it really does help my channel out a ton. And finally, why not keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell. That way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time and as always, stay underdogs.